I love an organized home. I love talking about decluttering and organizing techniques, and I do love a handy gadget that makes life easier. But when you're reading lots of organizing blogs or you're watching clean with me videos on YouTube or binging on those one handed TikTok videos where someone's decanting a jar of pickles into a fancier jar of pickles or taking snacks out of a cardboard box to put them in a clear plastic box and emptying washing powder into a huge glass lolly jar, that's when it can feel like a bit too much. Don't worry, I love watching them too, but we want to take the pressure off. In my book, the goal of getting organized should be to make your life feel easier, not add more stress to it. So keep the ideas that you love and ditch the ones that make you feel a little bit pressured. Here are three myths that I advise my clients to ignore for a calmer, smoother home life. Myth number one, matching containers are necessary for an organized home. They're absolutely not necessary. Okay, here's the thing. I love how they look. I really do. They look beautiful. So I'm not saying they're bad to have, but I don't want you to feel like you have to do it and then feel stressed if you're not doing it. The truth is replacing all of your existing containers with matching ones can be very expensive and it's a really big job to make over your pantry or your fridge or your linen cupboard or any other storage areas with them. It can take hours or even days to set this up. So think of Matching containers as nice to have, but not need to have. If you've got the budget and the time and the motivation to bring them into your home, go for it. But if you don't, don't feel pressured to do it. Or if you want to, just find a way to make it easier. One of my besties loves the idea of a beautifully organized kitchen with gorgeous matching containers and labels, but she doesn't want to do the job herself. So she's outsourcing it to someone else. And you can do that too, get a professional in or even pay one of the neighborhood kids to do it for you. Or your own kids. Myth number two, once your home is organized, it will stay that way. Don't beat yourself up about it. If you take the time to organize a space and then you find it's messy again a couple of months later. Life happens, your kids are gonna mess the space up again. Or you might be using the space and find that even though you organized it, it's not very easy to use it. You can't take things out easily, you can't put them back easily, and the space just gets a little messy. Organizing is an ongoing process and your approach to maintaining and running your home, it's gonna change with every stage of your life. It's okay to go back and try another organizing method or declutter for the third time or even ignore a space until you're ready to tidy it up again. There's always gonna be a bit of give and take. Sometimes my laundry and my washing process is running really, really smoothly, but then my bathroom seems to be getting messier than usual. So I adjust my weekly routine to suit. I remember when my kids were toddlers, my car was messier than ever before. So I used a lot more organizing products in it back then, you know, like a back of the seat organizer or bins on the floor or a boot organizer. Now that the kids are older, they tend to take their own stuff and their rubbish inside at the end of every car trip. So I don't need to be so organized with my car anymore because there's less stuff in there. You need to balance organizing and life in a way that suits you. And the easy way to do that, when it's time for a mini organizing or a declutter session, I find 15 minutes works really well, then just work on one part of your home that either frustrates you the most at the moment or the part of your home that you just wanna enjoy right now. Myth number three is you need a coffee station or a command center or a walk-in wardrobe in order to have an organized home. Trims are fun, but you don't have to do them all or any of them for that matter. I love a good Pinterest session and I can go down the rabbit hole pretty quickly when it comes to home organization pins. Over the last few years, I've seen so many command centers in entryways and they look gorgeous, but there's so many of them. Or coffee stations on countertops or walk-in wardrobes that have been made out of an entire spare room in somebody's house. And they, they really do look amazing, but you don't need to include them in your home unless you really want to or you really think it's gonna help you out. The best organizing ideas are the ones that work for you and your family, not the ones with the most likes or repins on social media. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you're ready for next steps, you might wanna join my free neat and tidy challenge, which is where we focus on one small space of your home each month to make organizing your home much easier.
I'll leave a link below so you can access it nice and easy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Let's have this hair stuck. There we go, we fixed it. It's gonna be a one take wonder with this one because we're in no hurry. And the easiest way to do that, there's a truck going past, so we're just gonna wait a minute.